Hello and welcome to GXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at how aircraft avoid bad weather in flight. Avoiding bad weather. When an aircraft is in flight, in order to avoid bad weather, a weather radar is used. All commercial aircraft should have a weather radar installed in it. Bad weather can cause discomfort to passengers due to severe turbulence and also have an impact on the safe operation of an aircraft. So the weather radar becomes an essential component in an aircraft. Let's see how a weather radar functions. How does a weather radar function? The weather radar is installed in the nose of the aircraft. It transmits two beams. These beams detect water droplets that may be present ahead of the aircraft. Since the water droplets are reflective, they reflect the radar beams. The reflected beams are captured by a receiver that is installed with the weather radar. The received signals are processed and displayed on the navigation display in the cockpit for the pilots to take action and avoid bad weather. If there are only few water droplets, there are less reflections. But if there are more water droplets, then the reflections will also increase, which means that there could be bad weather ahead of the aircraft. The reflections from both the beams are collected and merged together to provide an efficient weather data to the pilots. The intensity of any weather activity may also be identified by the speed at which the water droplets are moving. The speed and direction of movement of the water droplets are measured based on the Doppler effect with a Doppler radar. In case of a storm or severe turbulence, there will be drastic movements of the water droplets, which can be easily detected in the reflected waves. Weather indications. The weather information on the navigation display will be shown in different colors depending on the weather activity. If there are no water droplets ahead of the aircraft, which also means that there is good weather, the beams will not be reflected back. In this case, there are no indications on the navigation display. If there is a slight drizzle, it is shown in green in case of wet snow, it is shown in yellow. In case of wet hail, the weather radar will capture more reflected waves which will be shown in red on the navigation display. If the weather radar detects severe turbulence, it is displayed in magenta. Avoiding bad weather Based on the indications on the navigation display, the pilots can avoid bad weather. Normally, if there are no indications, the aircraft may be flown according to the flight plan. If there are some indications in green, the aircraft can still fly through it. But if there are indications in yellow or red, the aircraft's heading must be adjusted in order to avoid flying through it, since it can cause damage to the aircraft and have an impact on its safe operation. Functions on the weather radar The weather radar has a tilt function which adjusts the tilt angle of the beams. Depending on the phase of flight, the tilt is adjusted automatically to only show weather information on the aircraft's flight path. It will show weather information about the aircraft during the climb phase, in front of the aircraft during the cruise phase, and below the aircraft during the descent phase. The pilots also have controls to adjust the tilt manually to check the weather above or below the aircraft. The range or the distance covered by the beams can also be adjusted. This is to allow suitable corrections to be made to the flight path in order to avoid the weather and resume flying in its original flight plan. 
the weather radar may also receive waves that are reflected by the ground. But this information is filtered by a suppression system and not displayed on the navigation display. With the help of different functions and indications, bad weather can be easily avoided to ensure a smooth and safe flight. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.